And welcome back to MMA Fight Corner. This is Heidi Fang, and I am on the line with Pat H.D. Barry, who's fighting at UFC Fight Night 33 from Brisbane, Australia. He'll be taking on Soa Palele, and the main card will air at 6 p.m. Pacific time, and also the preliminary card on Fox Sports 2 begins at 4 p.m. Pat, how are things down there in Australia? Uh, Australia, it looks like uh, it looks like the Truman Show almost. Um, it's, uh, from what I've seen so far, I mean, we haven't been out much. Just like from the airport to just getting to the hotel, uh, standing outside the hotel a little bit, looking around and just meeting the people. It looks like a movie set, man. This place is clean. It's pretty. The skies are blue. You know what? If you look outside the window and you look at the sky, it's blue with white clouds. It looks the Simpsons. Wow. So have you gone to the edge of the ocean yet looking for the staircase that goes up to the main control room? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's way off in the distance back there. That's why they have sharks. Coming up here, you have to fight Soa Palele on the main card. And this guy, he is streaking. He's won nine fights in a row. What are your overall thoughts so far going in to face a guy like Soa? Um, he's a dangerous guy, but I mean, it's the same thing as everybody in the UFC. Every, everybody who's contracted to the UFC is at the top level. So he's he's humongous. He's dangerous. He's well, he's really experienced. Uh He's uh, from the, we're in his hometown, pretty much, not completely, I think he's from Perth, but like pretty much in his area, um, this, the crowd's going to be here, you know, I mean, mainly supporting him, but I mean, this is this is like, we're on his home turf, uh, pretty much, let's say, at least more his home turf than mine. He's uh, he's huge, he's really experienced, he's well-rounded, I mean, he's everywhere, and he's, he's really aggressive, so I think exactly the, the, the kind of fight that I'm always looking for. Absolutely. That pretty much defines your style as well. Always aggressive, always a crowd pleaser. You leave it on the line no matter win or lose. You're always going to bring the battle. And that's why a lot of fans really love you. But like you said, you're in his hometown. Do you feel that that brings any kind of extra advantage to him, having that whole crowd behind him and everything? No, 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 no. no. It doesn't. It doesn't like, I, I don't think that really when it comes down to it at the end of the day, I think it can be good and bad for both. If the crowd is completely all the way there for you, then that's great. That's motivation. If the crowd is completely against you, then that's also motivation too. I mean, when it comes down to it, I don't think it really, really matters. I mean, the only person that you need to be worried about is whoever's standing across from you. Whether the crowd is there cheering you on or booing you or, like, either way, it, it doesn't, like, I don't think that that has any type of advantage. Uh, I just personally, I, I don't feel that way. Right. And being that you just arrived, I think, just the other day, I mean, you're constantly posting on Twitter, Instagram, every possible social media forum out there. Pat Barry is posting. So how have you had, you know, the time to adjust? Has that really set in for you? Have you been able to well, kind of get... We, we got we got here. We got here yesterday, uh, yesterday morning. Uh, we got to the hotel. We filled out our paperwork and whatnot. And the plan was was to Grab something to eat, lay down for a second, and then, um, you know, we're going to get up and do a little workout. Well, you know, we ate. Then we got to the hotel. I mean, we're in the hotel. We got to our rooms. Uh, we laid down for a second. It was a second turned into, like, six hours later, we wake up. It's 9 p.m. And it's like, oh, man, I don't know about you all. I don't know. I'm here with my two coaches, Trevor and Jake. I was like, I don't know about you two, but man, I'm hurting right now. And they was like, well, when they answered the phone, he answered the phone with a Oh, hello. And as soon as I heard that, I was like, oh, that's the best thing you could have said. So we just <laughs> crashed until today. So we've been up since about 4 a.m. Uh, now. Um, you know, we've eaten, uh, and I'm doing this, uh, these, uh, this uh, you know, talking to you on the phone now and a few more calls after this. But then after that, we're going to go and do our first workout finally. So I think that we're, I think we may have gotten adjusted to it kind of quick, but the adjustment is just a little bit off. So now we're waking up at 4 a.m. and going to bed at 2 in the afternoon. Wow. Uh, I guess it'll take a little bit more time to get used to, but it sounds like by the time Saturday comes around over there again, that airs here on Friday, but you're time traveling, so it'll be Saturday for you. Uh, I think you'd, you'll probably be all set in there. Especially if it stays the same, because I read on the schedule, it said the doors open at 8.30 a.m. First fight goes on at 9.30 in the morning. So I think this, this whatever schedule it is that I'm on right now, if it stays that way, that'll be perfect. Yeah, man, I hope so. Well, let's talk about the fights here a little bit. You know, your last one that you had was against a friend in Sean Jordan, uh, LSU guy, real tough. 
And, you know, there were some things that happened in the fight that I remember reading about after the fight that a lot of people I don't think were aware of. The fact that you got shot in the eye from one of his punches early on and then had a hard time seeing. And, of course, you know, you didn't come ahead with the win or getting your hand raised in that one. But how important is it for you to rebound? And could you walk the fans through what exactly happened there with the whole eye um, poke situation? Um, you know what, like, and at the end of the day, what it comes out to is that, uh, Sean's hand, this should have never been allowed to be that close to my face anyway. So, uh, I just sum it up to that. He should have never, that was my fault. It had nothing to do with him. He should have never, he, he should have never gotten that close to me anyway. He made a move. I, I off timed it. I got hit. It, you know, I went down the rep stop to fight. You know, it's just, that's how that went. That was just, that was, that was an unfortunate night for me. Um, is it extremely important for me to rebound from that? Absolutely. But not only rebound, but send a statement. So now I'm fighting an even bigger guy, an even more experienced guy in Soul Palele, uh, Soul of the Hulk. Uh, you know, we're here in his home, like I said, in his area. So I've got, not only do I have a, um, a fight to win, but I've also a message to send for uh, the previous one because you're only, you know, everybody remembers your last outing, like for the most part. And so I'm that guy who came in, did all these interviews and then had a 42 second performance and then was out off of nothing. Uh, so yeah, that, that, that's what I'm coming in on my shoulders. So I've got to, I've got, I've got to, I've got to not only uh, shake that off of my shoulders, but I've also got to shake this really big guy standing across from me. Right. You know, like you said, he's a really, really big guy and his first discipline was wrestling. That's where he had started out. At. And you, of course, were a kickboxer before. So style wise, how do you feel that you match up? Where do you see your advantages here lying? Um, my advantages, I think, uh, are going to come from being a little more nimble on the feet. Uh, I should be faster. I should be uh, capable of moving more than he does. That should be the plan. Um, and Honestly, I think I hit as hard as he does, if not harder. So that'll be good to my advantage also since I am sort of a small package. Um, but uh, like you said, uh, he is, his, his, arm, his reach is ridiculously long. His body is like he's as tall as he is wide. Like he's all around just a big guy. So if, if, he, does, uh, if he is capable of getting the fight to the ground, he is going to have the, the somewhat upper hand. But I don't necessarily suck on the ground either. So, um, you know, I like to keep it standing as much as possible. I mean, regardless of what anybody on the planet, on the planet, you can quote this, Pat Barry says, regardless of what anybody on the planet says, people would rather see two guys punch and kick each other than they would like to see guys uh, wrestle and submit each other. Absolutely. I, you know, every fan that says, I love all aspects of MMA, well, as soon as somebody has a takedown, most of the time you hear a lot of people start, you know, booing and all that kind of stuff. Boo, so stand them up, ref, boo, yeah. get off the ground, stand them up. It's like, yeah, you know, I mean, just when it comes down to it, I think that, I mean, it's, it, it, maybe it's just my own personal opinion, but um, two guys standing there that are striking each other, punching and kicking each other out um, is going to be always, to me, more exciting to watch than um, bending an elbow or an arm. I mean, even though submissions and wrestling is awesome, you know, like that is awesome, and I've been, I definitely am a fan of that also, but if I had to choose between watching somebody get kicked in the or watching somebody get tackled, I think a high kick is going to go for it. Well, great, Pat. We are all out of time here on the MMA Fight Corner. And I want to be able to, uh, once again, remind the fans here of where they can catch you fighting. Again, Pat Berry will be facing Soa Paleli on the main card of UFC Fight Night 33. That will air this Friday, December 6th. The main card airs on Fox Sports 1 beginning at 6 p.m. Pacific Time and the preliminary card on Fox Sports 2 at 4 p.m. Pat, we wish you all the best of luck, man. I look forward to speaking to you again very soon. All right, later. Thank you. Thank you.